Order doesn't exist within the field of consciousness. If you see that clearly for yourself, then you will ask, how is the mind, which is so disorderly, so corrupt, so petty, shoddy, how is that mind to come upon something totally different, at a different dimension altogether? Is the question clear? You understand my question? Now, when you put that question to yourself, that is, one lives in disorder, and one sees any form of movement of thought in that field will further disorder, right? Therefore, one says, how is the mind, which is so <coughs> chattering, which is so active, which is so endlessly imagining, remembering, contriving, how is that mind to bring order? Hmm? Have you got my, the question clear? Now, to bring order, to bring about order, the mind must be completely silent. Right? And that's where the importance lies of meditation. You know that word? has been brought from this from India and there are various forms of meditation in this country. And I'm, we are going to tear them all to pieces. Seeing what is false in all of them. When you see what is false you see the truth of it, and therefore you will never touch it. Because the whole idea is mind must be absolutely quiet to bring about order within itself. Because to look at that tree, if your mind is chattering, you can't look. You can only look completely if your mind is quiet. That's simple, isn't it? That means you must give your whole attention to it. Attention being not only seeing the significance of the look, the understanding, the intelligence, all that is implied in being completely attentive. Otherwise you cannot possibly see anything or hear anything. You know, when you love music, you listen, don't you? You listen to it, with your heart, with your mind, with your body, with your eyes, with everything that you have. Otherwise you are not a musician, you are just enjoying sound. So, you can observe only when the mind is completely still. You can see another only when your mind is quiet, when your mind is not filled with images. 
then you can see another and be totally in communication with another. Silence is necessary to listen. You understand? That is the central factor of observation, to see clearly the mind must be completely quiet, and your body too, the whole structure, your mind, your brain cells and your nerves must be totally quiet, otherwise you cannot see clearly. Now, that is the fact which you and I understand it fairly simply. 